This is the fourth event for the 2022 Potomac Bassmasters. It's the third one I fished because I was unable to fish Lake Chesden a couple of weeks prior. This is the 5th of May, a practice day for me. It's fairly windy, about 12 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 20, 25. I understand it had rained pretty heavily the last couple of nights, uh, but the skies were clear for, for today. I got on the water about 6.30 and it was a pretty slow morning for most of the morning. It's probably about uh, 10 o'clock at this point. Finally got bit on the spinner bait, rolling it next to a log that was underwater there. Probably about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. He threw it right at the boat. Uh, wouldn't help me tomorrow anyway, so don't mind losing it too much, but maybe we can get something going. I restarted the camera, but this is literally the next cast. That would have been real nice tomorrow. Same thing, it's right next to a log, shallow water. Get a quick weight on this one. Four thirteen. Be really nice to find four or five of those tomorrow. So I came into a windy bank here. Got uh, a little bit of brush on it. Some uh, some down trees. The wind's blowing into the bank. Two fish off of two logs. I'm gonna wrap this one up here, leave this one and come back tomorrow, try this spot again. Still some good looking cover. Uh, maybe we can pick up some more off of it tomorrow. buck bass as a fallback I wanted to check out the drop shot bite because that's kind of always something you can catch some on and I've had some success around this bridge in the past so I decided to give it a try before I hit it out uh, starting to cloud up pretty good and like it was going to storm before long so I was wanted to get off the water Hand poured 
drop shut worms there. Friday morning, day one, we launched a little before six at Safe Light. Uh, weather was supposed to be about the same as it was the day before, with uh, rain showers coming in starting around four o'clock, which was about the time we were supposed to get off the water. This is the first spot I pulled up on in the morning. I was uh, starting off with a buzz bait, like, like I kind of always do, and uh, at some point I decided to switch over to the spinner bait and give it a shot here. It's probably about the tenth or eleventh cast on this spot. Didn't get anything else on that point, so I decided to move into a little cove there nearby and uh, try out my pattern of wood from the day before. At this point, I'm switching back and forth between throwing the spinner bait and a wacky worm. Not that big, but I believe you'll go in the box. Just shy of 14, but I can keep two between 12 and 14. Got a little bit of a whip issue there. I can see a fish in the shallow water here just kind of circling. I don't really think it's on a bed. It might have been, but uh, it didn't really look like a bed. Just kind of circling a piece of wood, but uh, decided to work it over for a little while and, and see what could happen. that one for a while, got it, probably won't get it again. Lost another one, but it was After fishing around the back end of the cove, I came back to that spot where I could see the fish. Uh, the fish was still there, and at this point I see that there's two there. So keep working them over a little bit, switching some, between some baits to see what I can get happen. I thought about trying to throw the spinner bait back in there, but uh, water was a little bit shallow, and I didn't want to make that big splash, so I switched to a Texas rig 
brush hog and give it a go. That was nice. Worked that one over a little bit. I've never had a fish hooked quite like this. It was deep in the jaw. Um, it wasn't in the throat, it was in the jaw, but the way the hook was in there, I couldn't get it kind of sideways to get the leverage to get it popped out, and it took me quite a while to get it out of there, but uh, no harm came to the fish. Well, that hook don't want to come out. See if I can flip it over upside down and go out the other way. Goodness gracious that it's in there. That one makes my 14 plus of them. This is the same cove. There were a couple of logs out in the middle that one end was floating and the other end was on the ground and I uh, could see some fish around the base on my active target so I decided to toss the drop shot out there and see what uh, was, was around. Striper, couple of bass, and now a catfish. You need to stick with the bass. Back to the wacky rig. Sure, if that one will make 12, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, he's 12. We can hold on to him. When I came to some heavy cover, I was kind of throwing the brush hog in the deep parts of it to see if I could get a hit, and I got one here. It was a little one. I uh, don't think it would have helped me any. Starting to come out of a protected cove here. You can see that lay down up on the point. There's, there's a little bit of wind on. I'm switching back and forth between the spinner bait and the wacky rig still here. Uh, that little brush pile lay down is going to come into play in just a second. the spinner bait along the, the base of the, the tree there and got to see one come up out of that tree and just hammer it. Same pattern as yesterday. A little bit of 
bit of a windblown point. Log laying down, roll it along that log, you came up and smashed it. Oh, that will help the cause a lot. Rain came a little earlier than the predicted, four o'clock, but uh, we deal with it as it comes. All right, fourth species on the day. Again, no help. I'm back to skipping the wacky rig under some flooded brush here. After a bit, the rain kind of stopped and the, the wind died down a little bit. My bike kind of died off a little bit when that wind died, but I kept working at it. That would have been a helpful fish. Got me wrapped up in a branch. You got that last fish was probably about two and a half or three pounds. I suspect it would have called my smallest one in the end. Um, might have done me some good, might not. Never really know. same size as the one that just got off. Maybe a little bit bigger. A good help though. That's what you call a call. White perch, but crappy.
seem to have found the crappie. Call. I'm still rotating between the spinner bait and the wacky rig here, using the spinner bait where I can and then skipping a wacky rig up under stuff and uh, when I feel like I need to slow down a little bit more with the spinner bait there might be something there that want to reach out and grab it. As the data went on and the wind uh, was still pretty low, I did notice that most of my more quality bites were coming on the slow wacky rig presentation. Quite a help. So I had about an hour left in the day. Unfortunately, that was my last decent bite. Uh, didn't pull any more fish into the boat, but this is a result of day one. Had uh, about 13 and a half pounds. Uh, it was about one pound out of first place and second. <laughs> 